Hello again. Today I'm going to be making the cards that I said I would make using my little embellishments from the other day. If you'd like to see that video, it will be up here in the cards. Today I'm using La Vie in Rose. This is from Stamperia. It's 8x8 eight eight paper pad and it worked out wonderful for these cards. I will be putting them together and I'll show you the different things I used. I will be using Lots of Love from my Hero Art set and Happy Valentine's Day. And then there's also Valentine's Day. This is my Echo Park set. And there's uh, Sending Love. Uh, but I think I'm mostly going to stick to this one here. And this little envelope with the hearts, I'm going to be uh, stamping this, the envelopes when I send them. Okay, I'm going to be using Flirty Flamingo for my ink. And I have embossed these with hearts this is a um it's not mint macaron but it is a mint color so i have three white car bases and two red so here's my first one i'm gonna go ahead and stamp the inside of the card first if you're new to my channel this is what i typically do if i use a white card base I'll go ahead and stamp the inside before I start working on the front. So just in case I don't get a good image, I can just turn it over. Okay, so let's do that. I will use Happy Valentine's Day from my Hero Art set. And I can put that down in the description box if you'd like to see that. I unbox that. It is a very beautiful set. There we go. Beautiful. Now these can go either on the inside or the outside. I'll be putting this one on the outside today. Beautiful paper. Just absolutely gorgeous. I'll be stamping lots of love on this piece here. So we don't want to cover up that butterfly. So let's go ahead and pop that up on my little dots I got from Amazon. I will link those down in my description box.
Those roses are gorgeous, aren't they? This gives a little bit of dimension, but not a whole lot. Makes it a little bit easier to, to uh, mail. We'll cover up the butterfly. Here, let's do this. Put it right there. And I will use my glue for that. Tombow Mono. Card number one. They're beautiful. Okay. This is another white card. And I got found this beautiful piece. And I cut it to where the tree was showing more. And then I'm going to put this in the middle of that. I'm going to pop that up also. And I found this beautiful shimmery dark pink cardstock that I thought went perfect. Again, I'm going to, to stamp the inside of the card. Let's do the Valentine's Day, <clears throat> excuse me, the Valentine's Day for my Echo Park. Brand new stamp, so I will stamp off first. It's always advisable. Find a scrap. I'll just stamp off on it here. Basically, just stamp it once to kind of because it is brand new, just to see how it works. You don't want, like I said, if I do make a lighter impression than I wanted, I can just turn it over because I'm going to cover that up. Beautiful. I love the font. Ah. Yes, that worked out perfect. I almost made a boo boo there. All right, so let's put this together. This is from a set of 12 by 12 solid color shimmery pieces of cardstock I got on Amazon. Now, because this is shimmery, I'm going to use my Runner Plus glue to make sure it holds. this with my altered composition books also. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to pop this up. It's got the white border around it already, so I'm not going to put, uh, I'm not going to mat it. Time to smell the roses. 
now we're going to put that here. Again, I'm going to use glue just to make sure it stays. And that should go right about there. There. It covers that just a little bit. Now on this one, it's also white card base, but I'm using this mint mat to go on the back. And unfortunately, yes, it's going to cover up those two butterflies. Okay. I'm going to... This is not going to be matted. This is going to just go on straight like this. like so in the middle, pop that up. Beautiful. And this says, that which we call a rose but any other name would smell as sweet oops i forgot to stamp the inside oh went against my own rule okay let's do the new stamp from echo park valentine's day Perfect. Now I want to go ahead and see, we can do a red one. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here because there's a lot going on in the front. So we're going to put that in there. Corner. There we go. Cover number three. Now we've got our two red ones. And this has an insert in the inside. Dark color card base. I want to be able to have the sentiment show up, so I use a white insert. And so, therefore, I don't have the problem of potentially messing up the front of the card. Let's go ahead and put this together. 
And again, I am matting this one. It says, put a little birdhouse in your soul. Very cute. Again, I'm not matting this. I think these colors here go really well with the red. And again, I'll pop this up. front. Let's go ahead and stamp. And again, I'm going to put this in the inside. Let's see. Happy Valentine's Day. This is from Hero Arts. It didn't turn out very well, did it? Let's do that over. Every paper has two sides. So we're good. There. A lot better. Now let's glue this on. Okay, right in the corner. Beautiful. And then we will put that on the inside. This is five and a quarter by four like this piece here and there is card number four card number five is this beautiful rose just absolutely gorgeous and I will be putting a sentiment on this lots of love Valentine's Day is a day to just express our love and care for our family and friends. Okay. And this, again, this will not have a matting. I'm just going to put it right on the card. I might decorate that with some ephemera dot or not ephemera dots, animal dots. 
There we go, right here. These are from a set. I think this was from an Echo Park set, actually. But I think this would be perfect. And then a smaller one down here. And the inside of the card will say Valentine's Day. We'll put I'm trying to decide. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's do the Rococo Rose. Remember, if you would like to see how I made these little hearts, please tune in to that one video, the embellishments video. So there are my five Valentine cards. And I want to wish you, my viewer, and all my supporters, the most beautiful and wonderful Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for joining. God bless.